water. Use the left toe. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Hasty nature, Alakazam always goes first. This is just freaking crap. And I love it. Are you on vacation too? Yes. Irene. Irene Torchru. Oh, right. I forgot to put on the attack animations. Ow. Damn. Right, I'll put the attack animations on. As soon as I finish this battle. Since Hypno is a uh, mixed attacker, I can give it a physical attack and a special attack, and it's useful. Which is unlike Alakazam, which is strictly special. Seal, okay. When does Hypno learn Psychic? I imagine it's fairly early compared to um, the level it learns it at in uh, other generations. I think it's at like 30 something. I know in like generation 4, it learns it at 39 or 49, which is just unacceptable. <laughs> If you're using a Hypno and a Nuzlocke in Heart Gold or Soul Silver, good luck because you have freaking Psychic until ridiculous levels. I clicked on Drowsy. Okay. Hypno. Psychic at 49. Oh, really? No, never mind. Psychic at 30 freaking 5. So that's pretty darn good. Right, uh, veggie. No, where's my options? On. Doug Trio is basically useless right now until we get into the gym. Or until we get to places that have electric types that Doug Trio can totally own. Da 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 Hello. Real life bird Pokemon here. Okay. Fear Hello. Lear. Okay. That just won't do it. Go Zucchini. Pursuit. Okay. Ah. Acid. Melt some acid. Yes! Monday! Aww. Uh, really? Order February 5th, ship today. Alfred delivery arriving Monday. I'm sad now! Oh well. It arrives on family day. I'm of course talking about Super Mario uh, 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Which I wasn't going to start anyways, but... Oh, well... I think I might just start focusing on one game at a time until... Um... Uh, until the, um... Like, I need to start recording something. Because right now... All of my games have a lot of videos. Except for Banjo-Kazooie. This is why I'm trying to get this one done, so I can just primarily use the GB slot for 
Banjo Kazooie. No water water through. I know. I can absolutely obliterate tentacles. Ah, I need super potions. This is a very mixed Pokemon. Look at this thing. It would be a very nice alternative to have, just in case Alakazam, because of its weaker everything, just gets killed. My boyfriend gave me big pearls. He must really care about you then. Nora. Children. No. Hey, what nature do you have, then? Ow. Every Pokemon in this game is usable. I've had great success using Kingler. <laughs> Kingler is actually kind of incredible. It's like, it's way better in Generation 4 though, but in this generation it's still pretty decent. Because you can give it Brick Break Dig and Hyper Beam and it just freaking plows through things. Obviously, you can't give it water moves because water moves are all special, and Kingler has a huge attack stat and doesn't really appreciate special moves. So, you're gonna have to run non stab attacks. As soon as Gen 4 gets here, Crab Hammer? Hell yes! Small guy. Kingler has a huge attack stat, but no way to use it because all it gets is normal attacks. Kingler, you, you, yep. Kingler is the strongest Pokemon with access to a combination of Sword Dance and Hyper Beam, possessing a dizzying base 130 attack, giving Kingler cataclysmic wall breaking potential, outright Okoing Chansey given the chance. Ha ha ha. It also has excessive access to Crab Hammer, which will nearly always land a critical hit, largely making up for its mediocre special. <laughs> Unfortunately. Kingler isn't exactly slow relative to RBOU either, just being just above Cloister and Victory Bell. This means it isn't completely reliant on paralysis support and very capable of mowing down teams without it. Overall, while an uncommon threat, Kingler is very capable of running over weakened teams if given a mere turn to set up, even if it doesn't get a full sweep. The holes Kingler can tear into a team can be more than enough for its teammates to finish the job. So why isn't Kingler often seen on the big stage fighting tooth and nail with Kanto's finest? Kingler's sweeping prospects are swiftly put down by paralysis, and this weakness often forces it out. Causing it to forfeit any source stance boosts it may have gained beforehand. Kingler's special bulk also press is a pressing issue. With even neutral hits like Alakazam's Psychic 2 K hit KOing it. Furthermore, its weakness to electric type attacks makes Pokemon like Starmie roll pain, uh, and often causing it to be KO'd even around 75%. These factors make it deceptively difficult to find an opening for Kingler to sweep, and therefore requires an experienced player to, su uh, to be successful. Just wait until Generation 4. Generation 4 is when this thing becomes amazing. 
Kablam! Not used. Outstanding offensive prowess, great physical bulk, coupled with access to moves like Sword Sense and Agility, Kaylin pre presents a formidable offense threat to any unprepared team. The only problem truly hindering Kaylin's effectiveness is our shallow move pool. Yep, it doesn't get waterfall. And mediocre special bulk. Making it very uh, vulnerable to any kind of special attack. Which is especially significant, but with the appropriate support, Kingler can quite literally crush its way through the opposing team. I mean, if physical is what you, you're you uh, going for with uh, Kingler, can Giraffery get like amnesia? Because that would be incredible. All you do is uh, amnesia a couple times with giraffe egg, uh, and then um, baton pass to Kingler and just start physical sweeping. Also, in Gen 7, every Pokemon becomes good with the right X items. <laughs> Oh, I'll just do, use my X special defend on my uh, Kingler and just start sweeping. Sword and shield. Oh. What's AG mean? Anything goes. Okay. Oh crap, it gets liquidation now, which is way freaking better on it than Crab Hammer. Crab Hammer is nice, but the freaking accuracy is not great. Well, it's 90. High horsepower? <laughs> Don't use Doug Trio. <laughs> Doug Trio is real fast, but it's also real frail. <laughs> you, you. What, really? Revenge Killer. That's it? it he doesn't have anything for Doug Trio. Okay. That's weird. Charizard, yeah. Um. Charizard was really good in Generation One because there were only two rock moves that could be used: Rock Throw, which was pathetically weak, and um. And missed more often than not, and then the other one was Rock Slide. Which not a lot of Pokemon could learn. All you had to contend with for Rock Move, or Rock Pokemon, was Ride On and, uh, and Golem. Man, I really need an electric set. I need an electric type so freaking bad. If I didn't use my rule set, I would just pick whatever Pokemon I want from the party. But it's it's more fair for me to just only use the Pokemon in the order I catch them in. Which is what I always do. Hulk. 
creamy, which is all new. Lazy ass freaking website. Smog on it, stop paying attention to their website. I'm just gonna keep mashing. Keep going. <laughs> Ouch. Arbok's biggest weakness in this generation is its moveset. It's just garbage. Its best move being Acid. Unless you have TMs for it. Oh, please don't bring down Zucchini. Come on, Zucchini. Make this thing pay! Yeah! a little bit of fun. And what I mean is, we're going to go teach our Hypno how to use Metronome, because Metronome's a fun move. In red and blue, you just got the TM for Metronome, which is TM35, which is now a uh, flamethrower. Oh, whoops. It's this guy. Yes. Yes. Only my psychic types can learn my channel. This is one of the fairies attacks is called the metronome. <laughs> uh, it's the sound of metronome. It's real fun to use. I'm also going to do this. Because I'm probably not going to use it on anything else, so I might as well just teach it to you. And then giving it Psychic... Um, will be awesome. If Sprout survives longer than uh, Alakazam, I want to give it Shadow Ball over... Uh, um... Uh, I want to give it Shadow Ball over Headbutt. Alright. Fang Town. This is the Pokemon Mansion. We have already gotten our Pokemon here. Oh, it's Growlithe. See so, ya. Yeah. You saw me, I thought you were a ghost. Nope. It's Johnson from Johnson, Johnson, and Johnson. Goodbye. 
So it has occurred to me that I have a dragon type in my um, in my PC, Dratini. So if somehow I lose enough Pokemon to put Dratini on the team, which won't take very much because I have four or five Pokemon until I get to Dratini. I will not use um I will not use Dragon Claw on Dratini and I'll just let it evolve as Dragonair or into Dragonair and I'll just teach it Dragon Claw. Because as nice as Outrage is I believe it's only like 70 power in this game and Dragon Claw is stronger than it. Plus it doesn't lock me into the move. So I think I might do that instead. So, uh -huh. Protein. Yay. Let's give it to my freaking Burden Pokemon. Here you go Burden. This thing is not going to be useful for a while. With Hypno's bulk, I feel like it's going to be more useful than Dugtrio. Oh, hi. Uh, let's go, Gyarados. I can't get out. This place is old. Place is one big puzzle. I'm gonna fight scientists with my. Oh man, I could have fought that with my dark chair. Oh well. When I fight uh, fight scientists, I'm gonna fight that with dark chair. Charmeleon. Uh, nope. Because I think it has flamethrower. Yeah, it has flamethrower. Sir. This is one of Charizard's attacks, it's called the Mega Tackle. <laughs> It'll kill you with one tackle, oh god. Uh, Hyper Potion. Or I mean, Hyper Repel. I don't know what it's called. Zinc, okay. Let's use a Zinc on Charizard. Use on Charizard. What are your stats right now? Oh, this beastly creature. Oh, I love Charizard so much. Keep it away from rock moves, though. July 10th, we christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Interesting. I think I missed a diary, though. I think it's like July 1st or something. Okay, there we go. It's this one. July 5th, uh, Gaina, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. There are four diaries around here. Each of them will chronicle a, uh, a life thingy for, uh, for Mew. You saw the first two. Okay, before we go that way, we go up this way. Mew gave birth. How did it do that? We named the newborn Mew too. Unfortunately, Mew too is more like an angsty teenager. An angry one too. It will wreck your freaky face. In the face. This place is like huge. Your nose is like dumb. Simon the rhyming blimey guy. Pepper. Eat my pepper. I want to use Doug Trio in the upcoming gym. Now I don't imagine it's going to be very helpful against. But, like, um, 
Growlithe. But it's going to be super good against other stuff. What is your special attack? Quirky. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, I wish I could give you an ice move. Alright. I wouldn't. Ah. 